Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to my next side Let's Play series, The Final Fantasy Legend 2, also known as Saga 2, Hiro Densetsu in Japan. I'll be playing the Game Boy version of the game, although I've heard they're going to be making a DS version of the game in Japan. I wonder if it'll be released here in the States. I hope, and probably not, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, being a side Let's Play series, I'm not going to update this one every single day, but like if I have a day off, or like on the weekends, for example, or if I just happen to have more free time than average, I'll upload an episode. So let's get started here. The nice thing about this game is that it fixed a lot of the problems with Final Fantasy Legend 1. Uh, there's a reason why this game is widely considered the best of the Game Boy trilogy. I'm not so sure, but, well, you'll see. It introduced some new problems as well that I'm concerned about. Uh, if you have any questions, by the way, viewers, about the game mechanics, feel free to ask. I'll try to address them as I go through the game, as opposed to just simply stopping and then explaining everything all at once. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. And in this game, we have Magi, a symbol of great power. People are fighting for it, and that's that. I don't know what we have to do with it, but we'll find out today! Now in this game, unlike Final Fantasy Legend 1, we actually have four job classes. We have a new one, Robot. I'll be going over that soon enough. We've got humans, mutants, and they function a little differently than the first game. And monsters, they relatively function the same way. But I'll go over the differences soon enough. Let's start with a human male. And I'm going to go with the classic, Indy. Gotta stick with four letter names in this one, viewers. Indiana. Indiana. Okay, Dad, you, you have my permission. Oh, there's two beds in the in this house for a change. That's nice. Now that symbol next to Prism there, that's a Magi symbol. So whenever you see that symbol, that's that's a Magi. We got a Prism Magi. I don't know what it does yet, but we'll find out. I'm going to leave you your, what, 12? Okay, you can uh, take care of Mom. You're old enough. You're a man by RPG standards. I'm just some old fogey. Yeah, that's, a, that's not creepy at all. Oh, he's grown up now. Hey, Mom, uh, Dad actually left you all those years ago. No, no, we're going to be going searching for Dad. We actually have a little bit of a storyline going on here. That's kind of nice. Still relatively simple for a Game Boy game. We're going to be looking for Dad. The old-fashioned way. You're adventurous like your father. And that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> she calls her husband daddy. <laughs> oh, I'm such a child. <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> okay, we gotta talk to some guy, Mr. S. Wasn't there a, a bad guy in X-Men? Uh, Mr. Sinister, I think it was? Or something like that? I mean, I watched the X-Men cartoons, but I never really got into the comics. I'll be honest, viewers. Yes, I know. Stop talking! Okay, well, we've got a um, Magi. There's 77 of those, and they make a statue of a goddess. Now, the text scrolls a lot easier in this one. See, this is its normal speed, but if you hit the A button, it'll go a little faster. Oh, so people are using Magi to become gods. Well, that's not good at all. Yeah, I suppose that's one thing I like about this game. Uh, you know what? I shouldn't say any more about that, because that would be a spoiler. You know, we'll just leave it at that. Oh, so Daddy was a hero, protecting Magi from the bad guys. I'm sure we won't run into any of them while looking for Dad. Or the Magi. Apparently we gotta look for Magi in order to find Dad, I guess. 
Ah, and the prison magi tells us the number of magi in the same area. Dad didn't need it, though. Of course not. And we're going to study and learn more about magi. Well, I'm not going to, but I guess he is. What's going on? I'm surrounded! What do I do? No, no, these are our friends. We gotta take three party members with us, so I'm gonna take a pretty balanced party this time around. Now, as far as human and female, it's like the first game. You have a little more strength as a male, a little more agility as a female, but it's not really a huge difference, not as nearly as big as the first one, so I don't think it really matters as much in this one, so I'm gonna go with a male mutant this time around, so that way I can give him an appropriate name. Pyro. Uh, even though he starts with an ice attack instead of the female who starts with a fire attack, but whatever. We've got robots, a new job class. They increase in power by their equipment, not so much by what they do in battle. I'm going to name him Lore. I thought about naming him R2, but there's no numbers in there. Ah, I just didn't think it would work too well, so Lore is good enough. And for my starting monster, I'm going to choose a baby dragon, because it'll allow me to get the transformation path that I want. And by the name I'm going to give it, you can guess what type of monster I'm going to be using throughout most of the game. <laughs> okay, well I guess we got to get out of this valley and head through the Cave of the North first. Let's see what other people have to say to us around here. Got any information? Have you seen Dad around? I mean, I know he left a few years ago, but... Who knows? Yeah, yeah, the uh, teacher kind of told us already, but yeah. Uh-oh, a Medusa! Oh, she must have uh, built lore, I guess. Sort of. Whatever. see what's going on over here. Yeah, all these houses have the parents, or adoptive parents, of our party members, so. And a butterfly gave birth to a dragon. Well, I suppose monsters can just transform into whatever they want in this game, so I guess that works. And uh, if you talk to your mom here, she'll restore your HP. So, there you go. Not your abilities, though, unfortunately. It's not like an inn, so. Nice thing about this game is that you can, uh, with, what is it, the stats you got there, whatever you do during battle will directly influence what stats you gain. Like, Longsword will increase your, will have a chance of increasing your strength at the end of battle. Uh, like Blizzard, for example, will give you a chance of increasing your mana in the game. It also depends on the level of the enemy you're fighting there. And that only works for uh, humans and mutants, by the way. Uh, monsters increase in strength by eating meat of other monsters, just like the first game. And Lore will gain strength depending on what he has equipped. And I'll go over that probably when we get to the next town. So don't worry, viewers. Soon enough. Soon enough. There's one fireball of a character, but hey, we get some cure potions. All right. How many do we get? Four. Excellent. We're going to want to hold on to those. Uh, this game Potions are actually rem remotely useful. Oh, okay, so Mr. S is going to be coming with us. And unlike Final Fantasy Legend 1, we get a fifth party member this time around. Uh, starts with some monster-like abilities. Dissolve, that drains HP. Not nearly as good as in the first game, but it'll be useful enough. Fire, hits a group of enemies with fire. And cure, which... Cures us for damage here. Alright, let's head to the Cave of the North. Well, that was easy. Oh, yeah, if you press the B button, uh, you can talk to your fifth party member. Press the Select button. We ought to rearrange our party order. Put the people with the most defense up front, because they're going to be taking the most damage. They're going to be tanking. So, put your tank in the front. Literally. And figuratively. Nuts. Alright, to battle we go! Now, the nice thing about using weapons with the robot is that they will uh, recharge whenever you rest up at an inn. Kind of like a mutant's or a monster's ability would in Final Fantasy Legend 1. So, if you equip weapons on them, don't worry about using them because they'll just recharge anyway. 
Humans have a durability counter on them, and they will run out eventually. Uh, same thing with mutants, if you equip weapons or spells on them. Yeah, we got them. No, I don't want the goblins, me. We're going to be skipping that for now. So what awaits us on the other side of this cave? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! Da-da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da.